customers, dealer partners, as well as Mercedes-Benz trucks and bus CGS. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jomu Park, the President and Director of Daimler Commercial Vehicles Indonesia. Firstly, I would like to extend my utmost gratitude to all of your support during a challenging situation last year. 2020 was indeed challenging for all of us due to COVID-19, as it is not only affecting the automotive industry, but also our economic growth in general. This year, I'm optimistic that we will record better growth as the Indonesian government has started the COVID-19 vaccines. I'm confident that we will serve and fulfill your demands better. With this opportunity, I would like to share with you the latest development from our headquarters office related to Daimler. In the past few weeks, you may have heard or read about Daimler's new corporate structure, which splits our business into two new companies. Prior to our new corporate structure, Daimler is overseeing three different divisions and focuses. They are namely Mercedes-Benz, Daimler Trucks and Buses, as well as Daimler Mobility. We all know that Mercedes-Benz cars and vans and Daimler trucks and buses are different business with different customer groups, different technology priorities, and capital needs. While Daimler trucks and bus provide industry-leading transportation solutions and services to customers, Mercedes-Benz cars and vans are the world's most valuable luxury car brand, offering the most desirable cars to discerning customers. Hence, with a new corporate structure, we would be able to unlock the full potential of both business towards zero emission and software driven future. Now, what does it mean to our business? The supervisory board and the board of management of Daimler have agreed to evaluate a spin-off of its truck and bus business and begin preparations for a separate listing of Daimler truck. This means that Daimler truck business will have fully independent management, standalone corporate governance, including an independent chairman of the supervisory board and is targeted to qualify as a DAX company. The listing of Daimler truck on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange is expected to be completed before year end 2021. Then what about bus division in Daimler? Rest assured, Daimler truck will serve both divisions, Daimler trucks and buses, and of course, we will continue our business in our markets with Mercedes-Benz bus with Mercedes-Benz brand. Meanwhile, Daimler Cars and Vans division will rename itself as Mercedes-Benz at the proper time in the future. For a more focused business structure, Mercedes-Benz and Daimler truck will also be supported by its own captive financing and mobility service entities to provide tailor-made financing, leasing, and mobility solutions according to our clients' need in order to ensure our sales growth, to strengthen customer retention, and also to build even higher customer loyalty. During this process, the company plans to assign resources and teams from Daimler Mobility to both Mercedes-Benz and Daimler Truck. In the future, Daimler Truck will focus on further development of emission-free technologies for truck and bus. We will grow further and continue our leadership in alternative powertrains and automation. We have already defined the future of our business with better electric and fuel cell trucks, as well as strong positions in autonomous driving. Given this context, Daimler believes that both companies will be able to operate more effectively as independent entities equipped with strong net liquidity and free from constraints of a conglomerate structure. Finally, with this new corporate strategy, I'm strongly convinced that we will have more agile and competitive company in each market that we exist. This will certainly allow us to focus on customer and invest more ambitiously on the things that matter to us, which will bring faster growth and higher efficiency. We will leverage our strong and well-known global brands, our scale, and our exceptional technology to deliver industry-leading returns. I can guarantee that this new structure change will bring no negative impacts to our operation in Indonesia, since we will continue providing the best service quality for our Mercedes-Benz bus and truck customers, as well as maintaining our after-sales service and dealer network in the country. Even more, 
I'm confident that we can serve better in the future to fulfill Indonesian customers' need in the commercial vehicle business. Thank you for joining us here and look forward to our future updates. Terima kasih and have a great day ahead.